Yes, music plans for sure. I'm going to be investing in investing in music soon. <clears throat> My and definitely going to need some tracks. Oh, show. But yeah, I'm investing in music soon. Very soon, so. Oh, show. I said, fuck it. I'm tired of, you know, working on different things and outlets to make money when I can just do the one that I love the most is music, so. Plus, people out here in Atlanta are kind of crazy. You gotta give your life over just to get people to, you know, invest in money making ideas, anyways. Like real money making ideas. You gotta give some. Unless you're a female, that's the easiest way. If you're a female in Atlanta, you, you can. Get somewhere fast, very fast in Atlanta. Come to Atlanta, where all the females come up real fast. Word, it's gonna be dope though. When I come, when I do stuff, I think long and hard about stuff, and I know what's popping nowadays. I ain't gonna do no, no whack shit. That's why it takes me a while for to do anything, cause. I think long and hard about what I do. Do they really? Yeah, come to Atlanta, where all the females come up way faster than men. You just gotta be a female and you get investments fast. my biggest dream you want me to come to Phil let me know I've been waiting 10 years oh since you were 10 that's a long ass time not true hell yeah that is true to Atlanta shit sorry Marcus Atel is not the move. Atlanta is definitely the move. Thank you very much, Nubian Queen. And of all people, your name is Nubian Queen, and you ain't talking about Atlanta is not the move. Number one, but like one, the biggest black population. It's the black Hollywood out here. What you talking about? It's just fucking women get it easier out here. That's all. Ain't no wrong with that, I guess. Right, I'm 22. I feel like I grew up with you. I mean, everyone has. You know, that's been following us since forever. How old am I? Does it matter? I think not. <laughs> because I'm always up late. I like the nighttime. The freaks come out at night. No, but I just like the night time, honestly. Man, I like to, I like night life in general, so this is why I'm up at night. You tell me to go to bed. I hope you don't think I'm crazy when you meet me, though. I might die for real. No, I don't think no one's crazy, I mean. We all we all got a little bit of issues in us, but you know that's just normal. Night. Can we get a B five union? Shit. Um, I don't know. Niggas gotta get on one accord, you know. That's just the real, you know. Could have been, did Ben did that, but it's just people got, you know, people got some people got egos, some people, you know, are just lazy, or you know, you know, shit happens.
Yeah. <clears throat> What you mean? We're all, yeah, we're brothers, but you know, brothers go through. Kind of, I think honestly, we have the biggest issues when you're really a like, real family. You have real, like, you know, the most, you know, issues. And, you know, like none of us, you know, are like, you know, but most families, most bros, you know, it's a little, it's a lot different. I think, you know, friends can do work with each other better than, you know, family sometimes. So shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do my free time pretty soon. I'm gonna be in my free time I'm gonna be like, you know, doing a lot of music music stuff. Recording, writing soon. I'm investing in that pretty soon, so I'm gonna start doing that. No, it, def it ain't Destin. Let me keep it at that, you know. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Can I get an amen? Feels the cutest from the group. Appreciate that. I ain't going to toot my own horn, but I get that a lot now, for sure. And I appreciate y'all for liking my liking me and you know, like DJ Khaled said, you know, they didn't want to see me win. They didn't want to see me win. They didn't want to see me shine. <laughs> yeah, I am a Sagittarius. Which is why I, like I I speak the truth. Nothing but the truth. You got some blood. Yeah, I mean, shit. Honestly, I like smoking with people any, anyways. I don't like smoking by myself. But when you when you smoke by yourself, you feel like a loner, but you think a lot. You're Leo. Another fire sign. I still represent fire signs. It's cool. I mean, if you don't smoke, you don't smoke. Virgos. I mean, I love Virgos, but I, I dislike them at the same time. It's because they're so... <clears throat> a lot of them are just... They're very, um, you know... Um, let's see. They're very predictable. Very predictable people. And sometimes I don't like pre like people that you can pre predict. Um, most of the time, it's just because you know they're easy to read, and their bouginess is an issue to me. Aquarius, I like Aquarius too, but you know, I like Aquarius, and they're really good people. But when you're with them, oh my gosh. Yeah, he, he's a Virgo. It doesn't mean that my answer changes. That's still the same. December 1st, she's right, right. I'm right before I represent. Represent for the Sages. I like Pisces too. I get along a lot of Pisces. I, I honestly, I think Sages get along with everybody, but people that we, you know, kind of like, kind of have like, you know, a little issues with our Virgos at times because we're in a way in a lot of ways we're alike but their their earth signs are grounded in a predictable people and you know they can be like I said before you know they work my nerves sometimes but they're cool I like Pisces really they think a lot very you know You know, yeah. I don't know what that scale is, by the way, I forgot. I ain't seeing no heartbreak right now. 
But yeah, I'm investing. I'm investing in music. Marcus, I know you're on here. I'm going to invest in it soon. So when you come over, you got the plan. Do I come to Vegas? Um, I haven't been to Vegas in a while. It's hot as hell over there, though, so. My daughter is June 17th. Crazy ass joy. You can't stand Pisces? I mean, um, honestly, Pisces are really cool. They're really cool people to hang out with. What kind of music do I like? Um, what's out now? Um, just the wave of music now. I think I like the wave of music now more than I liked the wave of music back then. I don't know why people say people have their opinions on the music nowadays and all that stuff, but I don't care what people say. People are always gonna say, "Oh, this generation was better." Oh, man, Fifty Cent, you know that era two out of five, man. Niggas ain't talking about nothing nowadays. I mean, honestly, it's not about talking. It's about literally just people have way more melody nowadays. People, have, you can groove more nowadays to music than. You know, back then, you just had to listen to words and be like this sometimes. You know, people, I think people can express themselves a lot more nowadays through music than back then. Playing what? Nothing about me because I sang that. That's why, I guess. And you're looking at me. Hello, Arizona. I heard that Jerry has anger issues. Um, um, no, we don't have anger issues. We actually really chill, laid back people. But don't just don't piss us off. It takes a while for us to get mad. But when we get mad. You know, that's going to be a problem. We're going to make you cry for sure. Even with words, we'll make you cry with words. And there's not really anything you can really say to us that's going to offend us any type of way. Yeah, I got a PS4. If I was in charge of Atlanta for one week, what would I do? Um... Probably take as much money as I can and give it to, you know, black businesses that we sh should be doing. So that's what I probably would do. Um, economic building. Horrible, oh, you make Sagittarius mad. It's over with. Yeah, that is true. You make us mad. Coming for that throat. That's for, that's for sure. Serious question, was that you or Brian Hart? No, that was me on Heartbreak. Heartbreak was me and Patrick. I did all the high stuff before my puberty, but I still could seem like that. Um, yeah, so. I sing a lot on the second album as well. It's just, shit, we didn't have no promotion. We came out with one damn song on the second album. So, I mean, I can't really say nothing about that, you know? <clears throat> yeah, Carrie Hilson did that song. She asked me, um, have you ever had a heartbreak before? And I was like, nope. I was like, what the hell is that? Like, at the time, I was like 12 or 13 when we recorded that song. So I was like, no. And from then on out, you know, Teardrops, yeah, I sing on that too. I did the first verse on that. Um, 
Of course, I've been in Maryland. That was like one of our biggest places. All Tri State area, DC, Maryland, Virginia. We were always there. Hello from Texas. And um, right to left, that was me and my bro, me and Patrick, on right to left as well. But um, I was uh, the high voice in that song, the, the B set. Yeah, sure. Um, honestly, I feel like realistically, I can get a higher peak now than I would than in B5. Realistically, that's what I feel like within myself. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I was born literally, I was born in, in this, I've been doing it forever. So, really, the fame that I didn't see nothing, nothing to it. It was just this is what I did. This is, you know, it was something that I enjoyed and. You know, I never really got excited about meeting people. I met like everybody, but I never was excited about meeting them. Um, only person I want, actually wanted to meet and we got offered to meet was Michael Jackson. That was the only person I was actually going to be excited to meet. But he didn't even show up to his own birthday party, so. I don't get excited about seeing artists and celebrities and stuff like that. They're just normal people. It happened, you know, it's nothing special to me. And it's like, oh, you had someone that had, you know, a good team. Realistically, you ain't going to get nowhere unless you have a good team behind you. And really, if your team is good, you go far because they're looking out for you. You have a shitty ass team, you go, you can only go so far with just, you know, your looks and your talent alone. If you don't have a good team, you're fucking, you're going to, you're going to sink. That's for damn sure. And we had a whack ass team since, you know, since the beginning, but we made it work because of, you know, you know, the image and um, our talent. And I'm not saying whack ass team by, you know, bad boy thing. I'm talking about our inner team. Our inner team was fucking horrible. They were all amateurs. I'm coming to South Carolina. I do not know. Yeah, people do. I mean, I never go six five. I don't know. Yeah, that was it. Because you know, um, reason why that. That was it with the whole, you know, BET we went on there for like uh, one, like, like maybe like once or twice. Um, we had no promotion. Uh, the label didn't want to promote because uh, it wasn't, you know, in the industry. Hopefully, there ain't no industry people on here, but if, you know, if you're not like, if you ain't smashing one of them, we ain't giving up something. That's what happens. Oh, yeah. All I do, yeah, he was sick. No, actually, he was going through puberty. Like normal kids do, you go through puberty, you can't hit the notes. Yeah, I mean, ministry fucking, it sucks. But it's fun because we get to, you know, meet the fans and do the music. But when it comes to the 
the business aspect, that shit is crazy. Do I play on PS4? I honestly didn't barely even have the time to play games. Appreciate it. Screen tours. Definitely not Backstreet Boys. But screen tour for sure. When am I coming to Cali? I do not know. Appreciate them. I still look 18. Yes, I know. It's a good thing. Appreciate it. We only came out with two albums, though. Yeah, the business part of anything sucks, but no, ain't nothing worse in the music industry, I tell you that much. Like Floyd Mayweather said, um, it's music industry and then boxing. Even the movie industry is crazy. How old was I when I first got my B5 tech? Um, I was 17. How the whole audio thing came up, that shit was horrible. <laughs> um, guy named um, Divine Steven started um, audio, and it was just a fail. He was thinking of like Black Beatles or some crap. Not the song, but Black Beatles, literally. <laughs> literally so. <clears throat> yeah, my industry definitely sucks. You know what females that do coke and to stay skinny and really that's it. Yeah, I'm sure it's worth it. It's worth a fun experience though. Will be fun with more music. And, um possibly, yeah. I would think so, for sure, you know. I think it's inevitable. I think it's going to happen just in general anyways because, you know, that's true. Cotton balls and oranges, they eat cotton balls. That is crazy. I bet they do believe it so they can blow up their stomach and make them feel like they're, you know, um, full for a little bit. She's doing good. What's your take on women shooting their shot? What do you mean? Brit Saga? I don't know what you mean by that. What advice would you give anyone who wants to pursue music? Um, the advice I would give them is be prepared for a lot of bullshit. But, you know, keep moving, promote yourself. Don't look for no label, please. That shit is garbage. It's only good when you when you want, you know, bigger success. But, you know, label is looking for people already doing something, you know. You got to do, you got to be moving yourself. That's the only way they know, you know, what's good and what's popping is by someone else already making their own wave. Then they hop on, give you a 360 deal, try to, you know, but when you got, you know, your status or whatever, you go on tour, stay on tour because that's where all the artists really make their money is on tour because music is free.
you streaming some bombs and yeah, you stream is old. No, we're not all very. All I do, MySpace. Yeah, MySpace was popping back in the day. Oops, my fault. Oh, yeah, B5 fan fiction website. Yeah, that got crazy. What do you mean by that woman shooting their shot? What do you mean? Yeah, I love how you tell everything about this. And it's, yeah, because, I mean, people need to know just in general. So like, people won't keep asking the same damn question about, oh, what happened? Oh, this. I'm like, y'all should know by now. There's the internet that gives you every single situation or problem or like y'all should know about the music industry as much as I know about it because of the, the internet do I have solo songs out? nope Boom. like I said before I'm investing in investing in everything I can so once I invest in it which is soon I will have that Being music at a young age hard. Um, I wouldn't say it was hard in a sense because it was kind of like normal. But the hard part about it is when you grow up and you know you realize the business side of it, and no one tries to give you the business side of it because they want you to be dumb. I'm going to say now called that crap was old. What do you mean turn on like, like the rest of the young stars? I don't know. What do you mean? All the drugs strung out? No, we didn't. We saw that we couldn't keep B five, and just someone, some you know, people, dumb people around us thinking that you know, you know, ideas were um, were pretty cool to have, and you know, not having the right guidance. Hmm. The lines that 